I am going to continue part two on topic seven dash six. So I'll continue on number six. 17 minus 12 equals 10 minus space. We are still looking for the missing numbers. So I am going to put my bracket here again, just so that way you remember to subtract. 17 minus 12 is what you need to be subtracting. So 17 minus 12 is five. What do we do, need to do next? The next thing we need to do is to rewrite our equation. Equ equals 10 minus question mark. So we need to find out what we need to get to 10. How many times do we need to count from five to 10? I'm going to go back on my 100 chart and I'm going to locate the number five right here. So when I get to my number five, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see how many times I need to count to get to 10. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. I counted five times to get to 10. So I'm going to write my equation, 10 minus five equals to five. So when I counted, the difference here, the missing number here is five. So 17 minus 12 is five, and 10 minus five is five. Number seven, space minus three equals five plus 12. Again, I am going to put a bracket on five plus 12, which is 17. Remember, you got to remember this. You have a minus in front of the three. So when you have a minus in front of a number, when you're doing the missing number, you want to add 17 plus three. I'm going to add my 17 now, plus three equal 20. And then I can find my missing number. 20 minus three equals to 17. So 20 here minus three is equals to 17. So the answer is, what is the missing number? The missing number is going to be 20, two zero. Next, we're doing number eight. 18 minus space equals three plus six. This is actually our bracket. Next, I'm going to add three plus six is nine. That's on our number eight, okay? So pay attention. So I'm going to have down 18 minus a question mark. Equal, again, we want to make sure the answers are equal on both sides. So how many times do I have to count from nine to 18? It's adding, where you're doing subtraction and addition is, addition is the opposite of subtraction and subtraction is the opposite of addition. So I'm going to look for my nine on my 100 chart. This is my number nine here. I wanna make sure I'm counting from nine all the way to 18. So I have my nine here. I'm going to count to 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I, ended, I landed on nine, I counted nine times. So now I'll have 18 minus nine equal nine. So our missing number here is nine. The next number is going to be the number nine. 27 plus 20 equals 17 plus space. You do the same thing over and over again. You're adding these two numbers together. 27 plus 20 equals to 47, which is 47. Now you have 47 already. You want to look into your equation and think.
So we have an equation 47, 17 plus question mark equals 2. What do we do next? So we're going to have 17 plus what number equals to the missing number? So I'm going to find my 17. I have my 17 right here. How many times do I have to count 17 to get it 47? If I counted all this number all the way to 47, sorry, this number all the way to 47 is going to be 30 times. I did this just to make sure we go faster, okay? So it's going to be 30 jump. 30 plus 17 is equals to 47. So my missing number here is going to be 30. For number nine. Number 10, I'm going to do the same thing. I put those two numbers, 56 minus 20. I will start with that, those two numbers first. If I subtract 56 plus 20, I'm going to have 36. So, so I need to find the missing number next, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. 30 equals 30 plus question mark. So 30 plus question mark. How many jumps do I have to do from 30 to 36? It's going to be how many times? It's going to be 30 plus, let's find 30. Where is 30? We locate 30 right here because our stuff is messy. I want to make sure it's clean. So if I start from 30 here, I need to count to get to 36. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So I counted six times. So it's six. So 30 plus six is 36. Our missing number is six. Mm -hmm. 